much, much more than you think. And pull back as well. Pull back. Pull back. And now tip right. Tip right. Clockwise now. Clockwise now. Clockwise. Tip right. That's it. And more clock. Uh, get the um, view if you can. That's it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Whoa. Just try and steady. Slow. Everything's slow now. You need some clockwise talk. Okay. Well done. And advance with some clockwise. Tip right now. Tip right. Maria, you deserve a medal. <laughs> All right, that was brilliant. <clears throat> that was a bit tricky. You did that really well. So I'm tip up. Don't don't ruin it. Don't, don't ruin it. Can we uh, get rid of those bubbles somehow, please? Mm -hmm. Just blow the water. That's it. We need to see the view here. Now just come back a fraction and reassess. Take your near, uh, Zander, can you take the near focus off so she doesn't huh? have to do it herself? Go forward, go forward, go forward. Zander, can you take, that's it, great, all right. So, um, tip up now, I think, uh, Maria. Uh, that's it, advance with some a little bit of clockwise talk. Tip left now. Good, good. Well, I, I, I think you're pretty safe now. So uh, I hope David was watching that. Um, that was top banana, as John would say. Yeah. And um, just just pause, give yourself a rest, because you've done really well here. Um, so just uh, pause. I said stop. Just stop. Stop means stop. OK. So uh, do you notice anything on the scope guide there? Yeah, it's, it's uh... Look, forming a loop in the sigmoid when I'm pushing it. Uh, no, I don't think it's in the sigmoid. It's the if thing? you look on the blue. If you look on the blue screen. Ah, and the descending. So maybe we can add some um, pressure on the okay. left side of the patient. Uh, well, good, good. No, what I don't. Anybody do anything that I don't tell you to do. So what I want is Zander to uh, apply compression from the left side between the ribs and the pelvic. And I want you to watch what happens to the scope on the blue screen. Mm -hmm. But I, I think you can advance gently forward. Uh, just, Sandra, just okay. stop the pressure for the moment. Let's reset this. Just pull the scope back again. Let's um, pull it straight again so and we'll start again. So Zander, this time, <clears throat> if the main pressure could be uh, towards the back uh, beneath the left costal margin, okay? So get rid of the face, warm the patient. So you've got straight down. And now I want uh, Maria to go in slowly with a, just a bit of clockwise talk. Let's keep going. So it's looking straighter than it was. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Tip down, down. Okay, you're right. Yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. Keep pushing, keep pushing in. That's it. Tip down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Tip right now, tip right now. More right and advance. And advance. Uh -oh. Just push in and tip left now. Left and tip down. Tip down. Down. Down and right. Push in, down and right. Right now. Right. Tip right. Yeah. So now tip up and pull back slowly that's it now you need to go clockwise tip right now Sandy you could probably take the pressure off for the moment I don't think the pressure is needed now just tip right and clockwise talk and tip up that's it that's it keep going keep going 
Keep going. More tip right. Tip right. <laughs> yeah. Pull back a bit. Um, pull back. Go right. Uh, Sandra, can you help her with the tip right there? There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Now advance. <laughs> and you should suck the gas out as well as you go. So tip left. Yeah. Tip left. And advance. Don't fall back. Advance. And as you go into that air pocket, take some of the air out. Advance. Keep advancing. Keep advancing and tip down into the right, tip right. Great, okay. Keep going, tip right, way, way, great, fantastic. Advance and take the air out, advance, push in, advance. Have we got enough lubrication on the scope? As it looks like you might be struggling with resistance there. So tip right, tip right. That's it, that's it, advance. Advance the scope. I can't see advance the scope. Just, just keep going. I'm going, but it's resistant, there is resistance. Where are you feeling the resistance? Is the resistance at the anus or, because uh, it doesn't look like on the scope guide there should be any resistance at all. I'll put some gel. Yeah. So, just advance again. Yeah. Tip right now. Just trying to stop, just push really slow. Just push really slow. She just slow. seems incapable of advancing. Let's go for one there to advance. Right, advance now. There we go. Keep going. Tip right. Uh, when I'm pushing, it's going. <laughs> it's going what? Uh, uh, yeah. mm, uh, there is a bit of resistance. I'm pushing in, but um, it's, it's don't worry about moving that. on the don't screen. Don't worry. Just just advance a bit further, if you can. Just advance a bit further, and in a minute we're going to uh, withdraw the scope. Okay, just go a bit further if she's comfortable. <clears throat> Good. Oh, right. So, sorry. So I think what we do now that if there's any discomforts with that sigmoid loop, just hold it, hold it there and um, uh, take the stiffener off. Can you give me a... Sorry. Now, uh, Zandra, I want you to get ready with the pointer with some compression. So if you look on the scope guide, the transverse colon is falling to the patient's left. And if the, uh, you should be able to feel the edge of that scope. So as uh, Maria Eva withdraws the scope, which I'd like her to do now while maintaining a luminal view if she can. So if you slowly withdraw the scope, that's it. Uh, manipulate the tip to maintain the position. And Zander, I want you to get your hand on the lateral edge of the uh, transverse colon scope. That's the distal transverse colon and pull it towards you. Uh, if I uh, pull the scope back, uh, Maria, Eva, just keep pulling back now. That's it. Maintain the luminal view. Just keep pulling back slowly. That's brilliant. Just keep pulling back. You've got a long way to pull back here. That's it. Great. Brilliant. Okay. Great. So, Zander, can you get the pointer on the blue screen under the edge of the transverse code on there? Because she's going to need some help getting around here. So, under the just in the um, indentation, the under it, and um, pull up. So, Zander, do you know what I'm talking about here? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you can give her some help pulling that up, that transverse code on up. And then we want the luminal view here, if you can, Marieva. Yes. That's it, that's it. Great, okay. Now, in a second, I want you to see whether you can drive forward with a little bit of anti-clockwise torque this time. And with a lot of pressure from Zander to help you um, progress. That's it, that's it. Now you may need to change it to some clockwise in a minute. Tip down first, tip down. That's it. 
bit too much. Drive forward with a bit of clockwise torque when you get around that bend there. That's it. A bit more, a bit more. And now tip down and tip right. Tip down and tip right now and tip up now. You've, it's rotated up, up and right, up and right, right, right. <laughs> And pull back and down. I think it's down now. Down right. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So forward and down now. Down, down, down and withdraw. Yeah, I think. And whoa, 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 whoa. forward again. Yeah, it's to the left now. It's at eight o'clock and at six o'clock. So forward and tip down, tip down, tip down. Poor old Maria, I'm punishing you here. So tip right, tip right. <laughs> oh dear. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. So go forwards and then tip right. That's it. No, no, that's too soon with the right. Go forwards. It's going to be in a different place now because you rotated the scope. Down now, down, 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 tip down. That's it. Down again and left. Down again. Oh. That's it. Now up, up and right, left, 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 left. left. Yeah, and rotating. That's it. Up. That's great. Bit of water. That's it. Tip right now. See, what's happening is the scope is rotating all over the place here. It's sort of unstable. Which is why you you have to really follow the lumen around. You're very close to where you need to be. Um, just a few more minutes, I hope, and we'll be there. Tip so, left now. So what, what's some air involved? A bit of air might help. John thinks uh, might open it up for you. Just so she can get an air fluid interface. Mm -hmm. the, the lumen's contracted at the mm -hmm. that Yeah. Right, so just that's enough of that for a moment. Just stop that for a moment. Just tip right now. I think you need to go right. Just, yeah, just start to come out. Just come back so you can see it. There it is. Yeah. Might be left. Okay, forward is, is anti clockwise, and that's it. Tip left and down, up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Control. That's it. Up now. Slow. Slow. Really slow. Just tip up. Slow, 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 slow. That's it. And tip left, anti-clockwise. Slow. Tip up, tip. tip up and left. And up. Up, 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 pull back. Yes, up. Pull back a little bit. That's it. That's it. Up. Up. <laughs> up again. <laughs> up. Uh, the final thing I'd say is you guys need to take your finger off the air button. If you want to put air in, put air in. So when I was being trained, my my I'm a, I'm a trumpet player. I'm a two finger colonoscopist, but I was trained to that. When I wanted to use the air, my finger was up in the air unless I wanted to use the air. So my finger wasn't pointing at the ceiling. It meant it was covering the air button and air was going in. I'm not saying that you have to adopt that te technique because what we teach now is one finger. You're either sucking or blowing. You, you shouldn't be doing both at once. I'm not sure that's completely true, but what is clear that lots of you will ride the air button. And what I mean by that is you will just cover it without pressing it. And the, the air button ha has something called the Venturi effect, which means that if you just cover the hole, you will blow CO2 into the colon, even if you're not depressing the button button so it's really important that your finger is not over the button when you're doing your colonoscopy so there are a few general really simple things you can do which will make your colonoscopy much better i think <laughs>